Hi, today I'm going to show you how to reset a Brother TN2010 toner cartridge. Now, if you're going to refill the cartridge, you just remove this plastic bung here, tip in your fresh toner. But what we're going to focus on is uh, the cartridge recognizing it as, as being filled again. So we're going to be focusing on this end of the cartridge here. And the first thing we need to do is remove these two screws you can see on the end. Okay, now with the screws removed, we need to remove this gear here and place it to one side. And take note that the, um, this little plastic part here is pointing upwards. And we need to just remove a second gear, which is this one here. We don't need to worry about doing anything with that one. Now we're going to be focusing on this gear here. And hopefully you'll see the triangular part, just up here, pointing at 10, 11 o'clock. It needs to be spanned 180, just turn it clockwise until it's down here pointing roughly between the end of this piece of metal and that bit of plastic there. You see now it's pointing that away. Okay, and now we'll put this cog back in place. It doesn't really matter where it is, you can see on the underside it's, it's got teeth all the way around, so you're fine. Um, and now, finally, we're going to put this cog back into place. Now you remember it was positioned like this previously, pointing again about 10, 11 o'clock. So we're going to spin it round on the axis and you'll notice it will eventually just drop in when it's at about 6 o'clock. Um, and if you want to check it's in the right position, you're looking for a bit of plastic on the underside which will only fit in between these two bits. Okay, so with that done, you just want to check it springs like this and you know it's in the right position. Now with that done, we'll pop the plastic cover back on. Okay, now with everything back in place, it should look something like this. See the bit pointing down there, and the uh, make sure the plastic casing is fully screwed down, nice and tight, there's no danger that something's caught and it hasn't slipped back into place and you're good to go you just pop that back in your printer it'll now realize that the uh, toner level's been reset and yeah you get the full life out of the cartridge again or um, if you've topped it up using this hole here yeah full life um, so hopefully you found that useful any questions let us know in the comments